I just want to add that thank you, and it's an immense honor to be here, including definitely with Dr. West, who is an influence on me. And one of the major reasons that he's an influence on me is because of that synthesis and the ability to hold multiple truths, that we have to have some sense of a capacity here to do something with democracy, and then also not lie and deceive ourselves about what we are and what capitalism is and what empire is. I came across a speech fragment from Martin Luther King Jr. recently, which I played on my show, and I don't know where or the title of the speech, but I thought it was so important because we've put a lot of work and we still have to put work into reminding everybody that the man was on the left. He wasn't a guy who came out once a year and said everybody should treat each other nicely. He was a serious... But the other thing that I loved about this speech, which was he talked about the fallacy that certain Christians misunderstood love as a seeding of power, and then Nietzsche came along and rejected Christian morality because he thought it was denying uh, someone's vitality, the will to power in a healthy sense. And he said, love without power is sentimental and anemic, yep. and power without love is abusive and corrosive. I'm paraphrasing. Yep. And that was when I saw it, I thought, well, here, okay, we know the left-wing Dr. King. Well, here's the Machiavellian Dr. King, and I love it. I want the left to have Machiavelli so that we can have the strategy, the ruthlessness, the clarity to actually win these battles and be ruthless with institutions. And then I want us to learn how to be really kind to each other, welcoming of a broad set, and actually have a movement that has the capacity to do that. That's why the cancel stuff is relevant that Katie brought up, because it's a stand-in for this eliminationism of other humans, which is neoliberalism enacted. And it's also a contradiction from when we get utopian. It's beautiful. We're, we're the people who sit around and we say, why don't we have a world where there's no prisons? Okay. <laughs> That's a radical fucking statement. That's a real thing, and we should take it seriously. But then, on the other hand, oh, well, these people could never be part of our coalition because they made a mistake or said something. Like, it's a contradiction in what we're enacting. So what I get that I hope is in the realm of answering your question from this Dr. King clip was left wing, spiritual, but also with a vision of power. And if we can synthesize those things, I think we will speak to the highest impulses of this country. We will be welcoming to people, and we will win. Mm -hmm.